Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Vinyasa Flow class beginning at the front. Open the palms of the hands forward. Bringing the awareness to the breath. Nice deep inhalations. I like to focus on my exhalations for many of my classes because that brings your body into the present moment, it grounds you, it connects you with the earth and that allows you to be present and it gets you out of your head. When you, when you go into complete exhalations that naturally invites very deep inhalations. Getting into your dry breath, that ocean-like sound, the waves of the ocean. Inhale the hands over the head. Exhale, folding. Chaturanga up dog, Chaturanga down dog, inhale the right leg up, step is through, drop the back heel down, warrior one, big breath in, exhale down, Chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga, down dog, inhale the left leg up, step it through, what do you want, exhale down, plank, Chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga down dog. Walk your feet between the hands, exhale folding. Inhale coming up. Arch. Hands over the heart. Inhale lift. Exhale diving. the right leg up, step it through, warrior one, exhale down, vinyasa, down dog, inhale the left leg up, step it through, exhale down, between the hands, exhale, folding, inhale, coming up, hands over the heart, hands by the sides, inhale, lift, arch, exhale, diving forward, inhale, look ahead of you, 
Step it back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it on. Exhale down. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through. Inhale up. Warrior one. Exhale down. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Step the feet between the hands. Exhale, folding. Inhale. Coming up. Arch. Exhale, hands over the heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dive. Inhale, look ahead of you. Step your back. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it up. Warrior one. Lower down. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Take the left leg up. Step it through. Exhale down. Vinyas. Step the feet between the hands. Exhale, folding. over the heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, folding. Inhale, looking ahead. Step it back. Lower down. Upward dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. Warrior one, down, lower down. Vinyasa. Down, down. Left side. Warrior one. Lower down. Exhale forward or a downward dog. Let's step the feet to the front. Forward fold. Chair. Inhale, coming up. Arch. Hands over the heart. Finishing the first warming up sequence. Take a nice, three nice deep breaths in here. Preparing for our next deepening sequence journey serious about this so Matt is going to the site for the next next sequence chair exhale folding inhale look ahead of you lengthen 
Draw the belly in, hands on the floor. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. Warrior one. To warrior two. Exhale down. Chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through. Warrior one. To warrior two. Exhale down. Vinyasa. Down dog. Take a hop, chair. Inhale, coming out of chair, arch. Hands over the heart, big breath in. Lift, sit into your chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look ahead of you. Pull the belly in. Chaturanga. Up dog, Chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. Warrior one. Warrior two. Triangle. Exhale down. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale the left leg up, step it through. Warrior one, warrior two, triangle, exhale, vinyasa, Chair. Inhale coming out, clasp your hands, side to side reach a few times. Hands over the heart. Chair. Exhale. Folding inhale, look ahead of you. Chaturanga. Up dog, Chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, draw the back heel. Warrior one, straightening the lead knee, square the hips, triangle, revolving. Exhale, both hands down, plank, Chaturanga. Up dog, Chaturanga, down dog. Inhale, left leg up, step it off. Warrior one. Straightening the lead knee, square the hips. Revolving triangle. Exhale, both hands down. Step it back, Chaturanga. Up dog, Chaturanga. Down dog. Take a hopping chair. Inhale coming out, arch, hands over the heart. Inhale, hands over the head, side to side bend. Chair. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look ahead of you. Hands on the ground. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Inhale, the right leg up. Step it from Warrior One. Left hand on the ground, right arm up, twist. Keep the right hip in and low as much as you can. Lower down, step it back. Chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga, down dog. Left leg comes up, step it through. Warrior one. Right hand on the floor, twist. Exhale down, vinyas. Down dog. Hop to the front, chair. Coming up, hands over the heart. Inhale your hands over the head, side to side bend. Back to center chair, exhale. Inhale, look ahead of you. Lengthening through the crown of the head, really lengthening the spine here. Hands on the ground, hop into Chaturanga. Up dog, Chaturanga, down dog. Inhale to the left leg up, step it through. Warrior one. Hands in prayer, left elbow on the outside of the right knee, lower outer edge of the left leg down. Sorry, left foot. Release both hands down, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the left leg up, step it through. Coming up, warrior one, hands in prayer, twist, release both hands down, step it back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, And jump, chair. Inhale, coming out of this. Hands over the heart. Close your eyes for a moment. Coming back to the truth of the moment. To the pure. Undiluted. Unfiltered truth of the moment. I'm describing beer. Good brew. So, obviously, my sense of humor. Bring your hands over the heart and inhale through the heart center. I know this goes into the jokes about yoga and the things that yoga teachers say, but we are, in fact, energy. We are, in fact, vibration. Inhaling through the heart and feel the back side of your heart center just as active as the front side. 
we are inhaling and exhaling through both sides filling up the heart the chest opening expanding and take a moment for gratitude take a moment to be grateful for something or many things in your life bring yourself back to the attitude of gratitude to the awareness of gratefulness what you're grateful about oftentimes we'll come to the mat or we'll wake up or we go through our day and we start worrying about what's not right what can go wrong all that and we forget about all the things we're grateful about so bring yourself this is the time you're sweating you're in your body that is the value of yoga you are in your body in your breath in your body bring yourself from that grounded space of humbleness humility and being in the body of being grateful for the things you have for the things that are already in your life or what has already shown up in your life inhaling through the heart and running a few things that you're grateful about Word them. If you're alone, you can speak out loud. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for my parents. I'm grateful for my... Be very plain and simple. I'm grateful for my blender, for my cell phone. Like for the things that are just kind of a given in your life nowadays. Deep inhalations, complete exhalations. Chair. Exhale down. Forward bend. Clean. I'll look ahead of you. Step it back, plank. Chaturanga, side plank. Chaturanga, opposite side, side plank. Chaturanga, side plank. Hold it. Lift the hips. Stack the hips on top of each other. Be fluid, be solid. Plank, Chaturanga. Plank, Chaturanga side plank. Hold it. Chaturanga side plank. fresh side of side plank feels so good now after holding on one side the other side feels so strong plank right knee to be between the your elbows left knee between right pull the belly in left right left right left and more one two three four five six seven eight nine 
10. Sit down onto your body. And, and from here, you are going to inhale, lift, exhale, forward fold. You're gonna focus here on your brain. Lifting a little bit up and pulling your belly in towards your legs. Go a little deeper here. Holding the stretch, deepening the breath. Inhale, coming up and flip over plank. Right knee to left elbow, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and now step your right foot on the outside of the right hand and lower down here, stretch. Lowering down onto your forearm. Opposite side, left leg, left knee to right elbow, 10 times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. step it to the side and lower down here. stepping on the inside of that left foot or if you're rolling on the outside mindful of the details coming back up onto the hands plank twist your feet so the toes are pointing to the left and we're going to take a hop in hop back ten times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 come into a squat so here you will bring your right hand between your knees and wrap around and clasp behind if you can you can use a strap
we're keeping the heat going, sweating and holding long stretches. This is what we're doing. Deepening the flexibility through fire, inner fire, hands on the floor, plank, twisting over to the other side, toes pointing to your right. Let's go 10 jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and squat. Opposite side. Bring the left hand around, clasp behind. Release. Sit down onto your body. Open the legs wide. In here, you will flex the feet and begin to lower down. I'm coming up, getting a little wider stance, lowering down. So. Make sure to ground the booty, the sit bones back. Extend the rib cage away from the hip bones. Keep that length as you lower down. For flexibility, alpha line diet is extremely important, extremely. Just as important as your yoga practice, if not more. Right, we'll come back to this. So now just bring your legs about feet hip width apart. Shake, shake, shake. And bring your hands behind you. Fingers pointing in towards you. Reverse plank. Hold it and press high. Let's do knees. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ooh, ten. All right, one more time. Open the legs and prepare to go deep. As deep as to belly on the floor. Excellent, coming up. Again, shake, 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 halfway in, shake, 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 hands behind your fingertips pointing towards you and you are going to go into tabletop. From tabletop we're going to do wide jump, this is a very small jump jump to uh, hip width apart, so feet are hip width apart. Let's do 20 of those, trying to keep the hips as high as we can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, let's stretch those glutes. So, open your legs not as wide as the previous pose, just a little wider than the width of your mat. Step onto your heels and lower down, shoulders in the knees. Work your pretty hands underneath your knees and lower down here so the shoulders are coming on the ground. Maybe the belly is coming on the ground.
to come out of this you can glide your arms from underneath bring your legs hip width shake 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 take a side plank right hand on the floor the inner edge of the left foot is on the floor so from here we are going to lift the inner edge of the right foot up flex that foot project through the heel one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten opposite side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lower back down onto your bootay and we'll continue with the flexibility session reach ahead of you you can step onto your feet now bring your elbows under spread your arms under and see if, if you can just kind of wiggle enough to clasp behind and lower down yeah <laughs> arms out from our pretzel shake 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 take your tabletop feet parallel or feet yeah the feet are parallel to each other but also the feet are hip width apart let's do right elbow to left knee keeping the opposite hip high shift switch ten of those one one you see one two counts as one two two three keep the hips lifted three four four five five six six seven seven eight eight Nine, nine, ten, ten, and lower down. Onto your booty, flex the left foot, take the right one outside, and hug your knee into your rib cage. Great. Bring the right hand behind. So we're gonna get into this the proper way in hurrying up here reach as high as you can with your left left arm and bring it to your right that's the right knee and grab your hip and look behind you flex that opposite foot all right are you ready you can thread it under with that deep position deep alignment Relax the shoulders, soften the face, exhale. We'll stay here for 10, yep, 10 breaths, let's go.
exhale completely look ahead of you bring your foot either in the inner thigh or in half lotus and lower down come back up straighten the back lower down five breaths behind you stay with your lotus half lotus come up in a reverse plank hold lift release opposite side left knee comes up pull your chest and belly into your knee Flex the opposite leg, inhale, reach, exhale, twist, 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 grab your hip, thread it under, then breaths. Exhale completely before looking forward, coming out of this, finding lotus, twist in towards your right leg and lower down. You can come back up and straighten the back, leading with your belly, lower down. Five breaths. Unwrapping side or reverse plank. Lower down, shake your legs, lay down, hug your knees into your chest, holding yourself here in a hug. Letting go of the heaviness within you, wherever you feel that feeling of heaviness within the body, mind, emotions, spirit, soul. Exhaling it. After deep breathing, allowing yourself to come back into the true essence of you.
extend the left leg out supine twist keeping the right shoulder down left knee across right knee across sorry looking over in the direction of the fingertips on the right side and changing sides keep the shoulder down coming back up extend the left leg a few inches off the floor and bring the right uh, sorry the right leg a few inches off the floor bring the left knee in right elbow to left knee one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three really drive through the elbow four five six seven eight nine twenty Woo. and opposite side so bring your right knee in left foot a few inches off the floor left elbow right knee one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four oh, I'm dying but not yet four five six seven eight nine oh, twenty great and lay down Let's bring the soles of the feet together, hands over the belly, step the feet hip width apart, lift your hips and shimmy your shoulders under, you can clasp your hands under bridge, keep the feet pointed directly forward step onto the outer and inner edges of the feet and lift the hips as high as you can great roll onto your belly and come into plank bring the right foot forward Lengthen away from the hips, lower down, pigeon. Thank you. 
hell coming up. Plank, knees on the ground. Sit between your feet. Either sit on a block, having the body lifted, or you can sit between the feet and you can lower down. If you cannot lower down and keep the knees hip width and on the ground, then just stay seated. To come out of this, you can press your hands into your feet, press the elbows down, come up. And we are ready for Shavasana. You can go grab a blanket or a bolster, or if you have yoga blocks, go grab your yoga blocks. I'll go grab mine and we'll set up for Shavasana. If it's cold where you're at, you can cover yourself with a blanket or bring some socks. I'm gonna use two blocks and a wall. So here you're going to come closer to the wall part of me is gonna be hidden behind this but I'll explain what I'm doing. So you're going to bring your uh, block somewhere be uh, behind, uh, between your shoulder blades, upper shoulder blades, and you will begin to lay down. You can touch the block and make sure that it is between your shoulder blades. Here you can bring the other block um, underneath underneath the head I'll scoot over a little closer to the wall and I'll bring the other block behind underneath the head you can either use the thin side or you can use this side for the head depending on how you want it and the legs are going to go onto the wall now you can have the soles of the feet together or the feet hip width open the palms of the hands up adjust whatever you need to adjust before going into shavasana you can have the feet in lotus as well and you can stay here in this back bend for a little bit if this feels uncomfortable you can just lay in shavasana or use the lower side of the block always you can make it a little easier up until you get to the next level. This will open up your back and your chest. So stay here for a few moments. And you can adjust it midway, halfway through. Staying in this, you can lower the block or, um, or bring it a little to the higher side, whichever one you feel that you need. Thanks for joining me today, namaste.